In addition to the L8, obviously they came out with a Compact Logics version of the L8 processor, which is called the 5380. The 5380 is a new format. It's a little bit narrower than the predecessor. It has most of the same features, SD card, run program, and reset. Again, it has the same five to 20 times increase in scan, scan time rate. Um, one thing people don't always know about the Compact Logics is there is no penalty for going down in our product line as far as processing power goes. The smallest processor that we sell in our Compact Logics line is just as fast as the top of the line L85 processor in the Control Logics. So there's no performance penalty. The only thing that's different is the amount of memory and the number of network connections. So you're basically getting the same overall performance. It has a dual gigabit port built into the bottom of the, of the L8 based processors. It can support up to 32 motion axis in this platform now over Ethernet. It has the same support of high speed IO with sub millisecond screw to screw time as the control logics. This is a big difference between previous compact logics and the current ones. In the previous compact logics, the basic bus was device net. So it was limited to 500 MIPS of transmission between the IO cards and the processor. This one now has a full gigabit backplane, Ethernet gigabit backplane. So you can do the same interrupt based task with the, this compact logics as you could with the control logics, which is the first time this has been available. You also get the same increase in, in, in memory because again, there's more memory under the hood so you don't have to reserve that memory. When you're comparing the old 5370s to the 5380s, uh, you do actually have more part numbers available now so they've spread out the amount of memory, the number of network nodes, and the number of integrated motion axis that it can support. So typically that L30 would migrate up to about an, uh, an L330 an L36 would probably migrate up to a 350 through a 3100, depending on how much memory you needed. That's the biggest difference there. Um, another big thing is how many, how many of you have used DLR, the, our device, ring, device level network? You come out of the processor and then you hook up all your devices in a ring. Have you, has anybody ever used that feature? Starting with version 29, you now have an option that you haven't had with the Compact Logics in that you can build a DLR ring like you could with the 5370 processors, or you can have two independent IP addresses with those two Ethernet ports. And you do have to use version 29 or above, but now you can support two, two IP addresses or a DLR ring, your choice. So something that we really haven't had again in our Compact Logics L8 processors.